Oh, good morning, everyone. Um, it's currently the 10th of April, 2021. Um, I'm currently at the Maggot Reservoir in the Scottish Borders area of Scotland. You know, for an early April morning, and you've got hailstones, knee word of a lie, it's almost the size of a garden pea. Of course, to show you how incumbent and strange the weather can be in Scotland. I don't imagine for the vast majority of the planet at the moment. Um, as I say, this is the Maggot Reservoir. In the distance, you've got the, the dam, which goes, the water blocks off that way. Um, the last time I was here would have been in August last year, uh, some eight, eight and a half, nine months ago. Uh, the water has really dropped since then. And just on the far corner, on the other bank there, it looks like we've got some land erosion. There's been a little landslip there. Um, this is fairly recent, this reservoir, actually. It was built, I believe, in the early 1980s. Um, it's a little information banister here. Just to explain it, here we go. Right, here we go. It was opened in 1983. I would imagine it would have took quite a number of years to build it. Uh, Mega Reservoir was opened in 1983. And it supplies up to 100 million litres of water to Edinburgh and the Lothians every day. Well, it says here, that's enough for 300 million cups of tea or 1 trillion million baths. And it is Edinburgh's main source of drinking water. So, for the capital of Scotland, this is where the vast majority of water is coming from. Here. And what we've got here is just a schematic diagram. I'll see it's a bit, I get that cleaned up a little bit. Um, you've got the generators. Uh, with the dam wall when it was being built, it's the structure just to that side. So you see how far they had to countersink it and dig it. And you get the main access tunnel inside the dam itself. So that will be inside the main dam banister there. Very interesting, as you can see. Got a rather nice sunrise in the background there. And a, you know, this is amazing. You get this on your doorstep. Really does help you put things in perspective. <laughs> And one thing I can say is I think there's been a, two, a couple of trees being taken down since the last time I was here, about eight, nine months ago. Um, hmm. That's quite good. So that's it. Very nice, peaceful area. I'm just doing some short clip videos, you know, four or five minutes. Little random ones. Um, you know, to my American friends, I hope you enjoy these videos I take of the my neck of the woods in the world that I live. And, you know, it's beauty like this, just I'm literally on my doorstep or within, you know, respectful travelling distance. Now I've got that thing. That thing's making a difference. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I'll move on to the next one, as I say. This is it, and this has been stood now for nearly nigh on nearly 40 years, this place. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video.